Hello, I'm Linda, and this is No Frills ASMR. So I was on YouTube Studio, which is where you go when you make videos on YouTube, and they had a section in their marketing where they show you you know, for people who do a lot of um, unboxings and things, certain brands, if you put a link, then you get a percentage. And one of the brands was this Go Pure. And what Go Pure had was a button where you could request a sample of their product. And I've never heard of this brand before. So I thought, okay, I'll bite. And I asked for a sample of a product that I use every single day. Not their brand, but a different brand's version. Um, just to try it out and see. So it showed up in the mail. And it says, Go Pure. It says G O P. You are e, go pure. Believe in your beautiful. Okay. And the box is actually a little bit interesting because it has this like very light blue botanical design on it. And I think that's kind of pretty. You know, a little step above your average cardboard box. And I do like botanical kind of themes. I have my jewelry is and my clothes. <laughs> I'll have a little of that going on. So anyway, I thought we could crack it open together and see what lies inside. I have already cut the um, tape and took the label. There was a label here, that's why it's all kind of ripped. Um, because I didn't want, you know, personal info on there. So, let's see. Well, here it says, cruelty-free, and it has a little bunny rabbit with a heart. So, cruelty-free means, I hope, I think it means no testing on animals which I like, because in this day and age, I don't think it's necessary to test on little bunny rabbits. Dermatologist tested, and it shows a magnifying glass with a plus and a little check mark. Um, okay. Clean beauty, and it has a leaf and a little raindrop or something. I'm not a huge fan of the use of clean in regards to food or face, you know, products because it's sort of like natural or <laughs> it's kind of a word, I don't know. But I assume they mean, well, I don't know what they, <laughs> I shouldn't assume anything. They could mean organic, but it doesn't say organic, so I would say that's not what they mean. It could mean no chemicals, but it doesn't say that, so. But, and a real quick side note, <laughs> a lot of things have chemicals that are fine and, and organic, like the scents and organic products make my son break out like crazy, so whatever. Anyway, okay, this says recyclable packaging. And it has the three little arrows. So you can recycle this box when you're done with it. It says, Go Pure. Start your Go Pure skincare journey. Take before and after photos of your results. Share with our VIP community. So they're kind of doing their marketing through social networking which is pretty smart, I think, for a beauty company to do. 
And then it has this kind of newsprint paper for the packaging. which I would assume is recyclable. All right. So this is the product. It says go pure. I tried to film this earlier and due to circumstances, <laughs> It did not work. So I had kind of peeled these, so they were peeled. They were, I mean, sticky, but just so you know, it didn't arrive that way. It says safe and clean. Well, I hope so. <laughs> Glow Pure Tinted Mineral SPF. So I use tinted mineral SPF on my face every day in the winter and summer zinc oxide sunscreen lotion broad spectrum spf 40. um i started using mineral sunscreen which is zinc oxide as opposed to like a chemical sunscreen which is like that what's it called oxy i forget what they call it but the chemical stuff is like copper tone sport i still use that on my skin like if i go swimming or whatever but I found a lot of times if I got it near my eyes it would sting a little and it was sort of um, greasy for my face for the daytime so I started using zinc but the, if you use the regular zinc oxide it's white and it's kind of hard to rub in you can get a pretty expensive like kids version from like Target of zinc oxide that's nice but it is hard to rub in. But these, I haven't tried this one, so I don't know yet, but the, um, the kinds that I usually use, the tinted sunscreens with zinc, they tint them a little darker, so it rubs in nice. I think it just evens out your skin tone, looks pretty good. Anyway, okay, so it says active ingredient, zinc oxide, 25% sunscreen, helps prevent sunburn if used as directed with other sun protection measures, decreases the risk of skin cancer and early signs of aging caused by the sun. This packaging reminds me quite a bit of the La Roche-Posay and CeraVe packaging. I think they're both sort of like a blue and white like this. But it's a nice, you know, feel to it. Kind of like waxy almost feeling. It actually does feel waxy, like a waxed cardboard. Huh. Manufactured for Go Pure Beauty, Agora Road, Westlake Village. This says manufactured for. And I'm looking for anything that tells you where it's made. And I'm not seeing it on this packaging. But I thought on their website, I saw that it is made in the United States, but um, it's not saying that. <laughs> anyway, okay, warning, do not use on damaged or broken skin. Keep out of eyes, rinse with water to remove. Stop use and ask your doctor if a rash occurs. Directions apply generously and evenly 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply at least every two hours. I never do that. I should, but I don't. Use a water resistant sunscreen if swimming or sweating. So they're making it sound like this is not water resistant. Although I thought zinc oxide kind of was. Sun protection measures. Spending time in the sun increases your risk of skin cancer and early skin aging. To decrease the risk, regularly use a sunscreen with a broad spectrum SPF value of 15 or higher. All right, limit time in the sun 
especially between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Wear long sleeve pants, shirts, hats, and sunglasses. Children under six months of age ask a doctor. Apply to face and neck as the last step in your skincare routine. All right, well, there you go. Uh, protect this container from excessive heat and direct sun. Okay. And then the other ingredients, um, water, caprylic, caprylic, triglyceride, glycerin, da, 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 things I can't say, <laughs> coconut fruit extract, vanilla fruit extract, sodium chloride, ethyl vanillin. Um, I think there's like things that are sort of preservatives. The last ingredient is iron oxides. I think that might be what gives it the color. Would be my guess. All right. Cruelty-free, gluten-free, dermatologist tested, and vegan. Animal test-free. Well, that's Nice. All right. We created Go Pure because we believe that everyone deserves to feel confident in their skin. Ari Kian, Go Pure co founder. I did take a look at the um, website and looked it up to make sure this wasn't a MLM. And it doesn't seem to be. It seems they have their, you know, social networking sharing campaign. But I couldn't quite figure that it was an MLM. I'm not saying, <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't see anything that was a red flag to me. So that's part of why I'm sharing it. <laughs> okay, your Go Pure routine. Use cleanser, toner, serums, moisturizer, and Glow Pure SPF. Mm, I might use a cleanser in the shower and then moisturizer. And then in the morning, the SPF. <laughs> I don't do all the other things. Okay. Insider tip. Apply SPF as the last step in your day routine in, in your day routine for ultimate UV protection. Oh, <laughs> I was like thinking because I take a shower in the evening, so the last step would be like before bed. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? <laughs> they mean in your day routine, so in the morning, after you put on your moisturizer and everything, then you um use this. Okay, every skin tone needs SPF daily. Please refer drug facts for complete directions. Yeah, I wondered about the, um, this didn't have different colors of tint. Some of them have like light tint and darker tint, but this just has the one tint, but it says every skin tone. So we'll see, we'll see if it seems like it. Okay, so that's kind of nice. It has a nice little plastic lid that snaps on because I have um, Neutrogena tinted sunscreen and it's very liquidy and it doesn't have a pump like this and it just kind of oozes out. It is my favorite sunscreen. splattered. Wait. Hmm. Hold on. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Why isn't it? 
make sure I'm not for, I'm not doing anything wrong. Sun protection measures. Spending time in the sun increases your risk of skin cancer. We had read that. Limit time in the sun. Apply generously and evenly 15 minutes before sun exposure. Reapply at least every two hours. Use a water resistant sunscreen. Okay, it doesn't say anything about pumping it. About priming the pump. Let's see if we push it up a little bit. Oh no. Boy, I really liked the pump idea. What? <laughs> it's like it did need to be primed, you know? Why you have to well let's spread this on and see. That's a lot. I gotta end up doing a lot. See sometimes with the um zinc oxides, if you put it on hair, it'll kind of really stick in the hair. My hair is so light, it doesn't do it as much with me, but like, if you have darker hair or thicker hair on your arms, like guys, sometimes it'll sort of stick in it. All right, so there we go. Well, I do like the, um, it's like creamy. It's, I hate to call it greasy, but it is. It's a little like oil greasy. It's like that coconut oil kind of feel to it. But I assume once it, you know, sinks in a little bit, it will, I should take my ring off. It will, um, I just have to like, push all my hair down. I like it to go this way and then that way. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't know if you can tell it's a little, it's a little like shiny, um, but I don't mind that. I'm wondering on the face, my big, oh, what? <laughs> Why did it work so perfectly that time? Did I just need to prime it? Okay. Let's put a little on my face here and uh, make sure it doesn't sting, you know? I'll put it right on my eyelid and around my eye while I talk to you. And if I start crying, <laughs> it'll be because it's stinging. I mean, I'm putting it like with my eye closed around. Because my hands might not be all that sensitive, but my face sometimes will be, like, very sensitive. <laughs> okay, now the pump's working. I, I like, don't want to waste it by pumping it all out, but, um, that was kind of weird, but it seems like it's working now. Okay. Yeah, I like the way it rubs on. It is definitely very, like, greasy, you know what I mean, like, moisturizing. So if you don't like that sort of feel on your face, you might not enjoy this. But if you have, like, dry skin like I do, <laughs> it feels pretty good. Um, the only problem is, like... If you had to grab something, <laughs> it's going to be greasy. Or if you had to um, grab a doorknob, <laughs> you might get a little greasiness. Like, can you see? Um, gosh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to show you. Uh, it's a little greasy. But I think it'll sink in. So maybe if we just give it a minute sort of sink in and I did put a lot on. I think
think it's just because it has oil in it, you know. I think I kind of used a lot. <laughs> this is a 1.7 fluid ounce. But normally you probably only use like two squirts. I probably used like four. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. It seems pretty good. It's not inexpensive. Um, I think it was $29 for this 1.7 fluid ounce. So it just depends on what you like. It's very moisturizing, very creamy. Um, maybe a little bit shiny, but so de yeah, definitely not matte. It's definitely shiny. Yeah. But I kind of don't mind that. I think it kind of looks pretty <laughs> sometimes. But if you don't like like a shininess on your face, it might be too shiny. I don't know. But SPF 40 that's pretty good. How do we feel about the going on any skin tone? It's hard to say because I'm very light, um, even with my tan that I have right now, which I do. <laughs> I'm not as, but um, I'm not sure how it would look. It seems like it blended in pretty good, but on a darker skin tone, I'm not sure. It's actually getting a little stickier right now from greasy to kind of hear it. Which is just telling me that it must kind of dry after a while and won't be as, you know, greasy, shiny. Probably it's like if I were actually using this, I'd take a towel. wash them with soap. So I think I like it. I think I like it. <laughs> I think it, it's kind of nice. I'll try it for a while. It certainly isn't hurting my eye and I rubbed it right up next to it and my face feels fine. Um, so yeah. Thumbs up I think. I will try using it for a while and Maybe I'll come back and tell you how it went. <laughs> but on initial, initially I like it, but I could see like my niece, sometimes she uses my skin stuff and she'll say it's too shiny. So it just depends on your level of interest in having shininess. Like see how it's kind of a little bit shiny. see what's in here. I didn't look at this. Go Pure Glow Guide. So they show this woman who has a dark skin tone with the Glow Pure tinted mineral. So I guess it blends in if that's a true ad. Let's see. Believe in your beautiful. At Go Pure, it is our mission to make dermatologist approved confidence boosting products with transformative results. Now, one of the other products, the one that I put in the second place for a free sample, <laughs> is a neck cream. And it's supposed to get rid of like that little, you know, gobbler on your neck, or at least help, whatever, not get rid of it, probably. But, um, I figured this is something I actually use a lot and I'm not sure I would be as good about using a neck cream, but maybe I would if it worked. <laughs> it's hard for me to imagine because I'm, you know, over 50. 
you do start to have that, I can't imagine that's going to work, but maybe. Just dropped. Let's get tr topical. I thought I said tropical. <laughs> topical. Our new exfoliants are here. An AHA peel and a 2% BHA liquid. Huh. I've never tried an AHA peel. Is that alpha high something acid? <laughs> I don't really know. Uh, that might be interesting to try. Cleansers and toners. The last time I used a toner, it was probably 1980s, and it was called Sea Breeze. <laughs> and it was supposed to get rid of acne. I think it was just um, alcohol, hydrogen peroxide or something. Super Fruit Enzymes Cleansing Balm, Gentle Gel Cleanser, Hit Refresh Hydrating Toner, Derm Tip. Since a clean face is a healthy face, try your Derm Approved Double Cleanse. Start with our cleansing balm and end with our gel cleanser to clear out your pores and help the rest of your routine penetrate deeper than Serums, a retinol serum. I do use retin A, like prescription strength. Uh, Brighten and Even Serum, Dramatically Dewy Serum, Firm and Lift Serum, and 30% Vitamin C Dry Oil. Huh. I don't know. Targeted Treatments. I think this was the other one that I requested. Tighten and Lift Neck Cream. Firm the look of sagging skin and visibly reduce the look of discoloration by applying our Viral Cream to your delicate neck and chest area. Okay, I try it. <laughs> Wake Up Radiant AHA Peel. Refine it, 2% BH liquid e exfoliant, niacinamide booster serum, and advanced repair eye cream, moisturizers and SPF, a vitamin C moisturizer, anti-wrinkle moisturizer, brilliant barrier water cream. What does that mean? Glow Pure Tinted Mineral SPF. All right, let's see what they say. Protect your skin from visible sun damage while creating an effortless, moisturized, tinted glow that complements any skin tone with our SPF 40. Apply as a final touch formula daily. Let's see how it's looking. still feels moisturized but not not as like greasy and glowy I would say dewy <laughs> if you can say that about my aged hands follow us on Instagram da 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 and yeah, this one's before and after well interesting alright well I'll give it a shot for a while guys and uh Maybe sometime, maybe when I do a packing video or something, I'll talk about it. I do feel like I, it seems like we went through quite a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> I hope the pump keeps working too. I like the pump idea. I think it's a good idea. I do wonder once you get to a certain point, will it still pump? Or is it going to be one of these things where we have to cut it? <laughs> Things we will learn. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. And if there is a link for this product, or there's, I'll put it below. And I assume that, you know, they'll give a percentage, but I don't know what that percentage would be. <laughs> but I would say so far so good. It seems pretty good. Um, 